The STS skylight screen features a stiff wire mesh that covers the entire surface of a skylight lens, preventing the dangerous hazard of falling through a skylight. All our skylight screens are built to OSHA specifications and are designed with simplicity and ease of installation in mind. In this video, we will cover how to install the STS model skylight screen. The STS model features a unique clamping mechanism that does not penetrate the skylight or the roof membrane. Before installing skylight fall protection, please be aware of the inherent risks associated with working near a fall hazard. Severe injury or death can result if correct safety procedures are not understood and followed. A skylight is a dangerous fall hazard. A skylight lens is not intended to withstand the weight of a person. Do not lean or put any weight on the lens. Obey all fall protection regulations for your geographic location. Do not attempt to perform work around a fall hazard without proper fall protection training, a written safety plan, and applicable safety equipment. This procedure needs to be performed under the supervision of a competent person. You will need the following tools to successfully complete this installation. A half-inch open-ended wrench, variable torque cordless drill, half-inch driver bit, 5 16 inch driver bit, vice grips or pliers, and heavy-duty work gloves. And now, here are the step-by-step -step instructions to install your simplified safety skylight screen. First, place the two threaded rods through the 5 16 inch holes at each end of the two retaining bars. Next, place the washers and locking nuts onto each end of the rod and hand tighten them. Using two people, lift the retaining bar assembly over the skylight and position it onto the skylight frame. Take care not to lean over or touch the skylight lens. Also, make sure not to rest the retaining bar assembly on the skylight lens. Next, using vice grips or pliers, hold onto the threaded rod to prevent it from turning. Be sure to do this well away from where the nut will attach to the rod. Tighten all nuts evenly to secure the retaining bar assembly on the frame of the skylight. Do not over tighten or damage to the skylight may result. One other important point, due to stacking, some skylight screens may need to be stretched or compressed. Small differences in screen sizes are normal. Once again, using two people, place the skylight screen on one of the side rails and into the channel of the retaining bar. Then, using two people, firmly grasp the opposite side of the skylight screen, placing the bottom edge into the retaining bar channel. It may be necessary to stretch or compress the skylight screen to achieve this connection. Next, place a clip over the channel of the aluminum retaining bar, matching the formed part of the clip to the notched area on the back of the bar. Using a cordless drill set to medium torque and a 5 16 hex bit, install the enclosed number 10 stainless steel hex head self-drilling screws through the hole in the clip and into the retaining bar. Drill the screw through the retaining bar at the same angle, locking the clip onto the retaining bar, taking care not to over torque. Repeat, installing a clip and a screw on each corner of the unit, including corners where two or more screens meet. On units utilizing two or more screens per unit, lock the screens together using the enclosed hose clamps. As an added safety measure, make sure you always recheck the snugness of all the nuts. At this point, your installation is complete. If you have any questions about the installation or maintenance of skylight screens, please contact Simplified Safety.